be entered now. Look at results. Imagine. This is election that accreditation has not even started. See results. Imagine. Pathetic. And I sympathize with the people of Kogi State. I sympathize with the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I weep for our country. For generations yet unborn. That in the 21st century, you have an umpire. You have an INEC that is biased. You will be shocked, as I am, that after all the promises by Mahmoud Yakubu, that Mahmoud Yakubu cannot wash his hands out of this calamity. The Independent National Electoral Commission has conducted her off cycle election of Koki Bayesha and Imo election today. The election was held yesterday, as we all know, and the result has been announced. Now, the Kogites and Imonites now know who become their governor for the next four years. Creepances to the election that was conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission, especially the one of Imo State. But I'm bringing to you what actually transpired in Kogi State as the governorship candidate of PDP, Dino Milaye, has called for total cancellation of the Kogi governorship election that was held yesterday we could all recall that yesterday before the election kick start we already saw results coming out from some polling units that even the, even the citizens have not even gone for the accreditation not to talk more of voting there were results already flying here and there and the governor even called for a protest by his uh, um Agents at the polling unit, if if the result sheet shown to them has any form of writing on it, there is a Dino Milaye press briefing where he called for a total cancellation of the gubernatorial election held in Kogi yesterday. By condemning in its totality the of the elections yesterday, and I'll try to call for the total cancellation of the election because that was not an election. It is shameful that the unhealthy INEC refused to realize, ameliorate, or palliate the problems they created in the last presidential and governorship elections. Yesterday, in five local governments of the Central Senatorial District in Kogi State, there was no election in any. Surprisingly, accreditation was done manually the beavers was not used. Prepared result sheets manifested even before accreditation took place. The evidence is all over the media. So INEC, as a matter of um, urgency, must cancel the election. Many areas where I won, after counting, my agents were told that there are no available result sheets to enter the results. And we have evidence to back up this um, assertion. As I speak to you, it is shameful that this is what our democracy have descended to. INEC have manifested more than ever before that they cannot be trusted, they are biased, they are compromised, and they cannot be a neutral umpire. INEC officials, youth core members, we are caught yesterday with prepared result sheets, even before the commencement of the processes leading to the election. A youth court member was caught yesterday with one million naira in his bag. Complete one million naira with a, a prepared results already. There was deliberate suppression of my votes in Lokuja and Kogi local government. This was deliberately done by Ayabelo and the APC to make sure that even in their orchestrated arrangements, I don't come second. Because they do believe that there will be a second ballot. And they believe that if there's a second ballot, I have tremendous influence and support in the central, and I can build an inroad in the east. So they will prefer any other person to come second, who will find it difficult to have support in the central and in the west. So with these various my practices that have bedeviled this election. I call for the total cancellation of this election. I call for a total repentance from INEC, where we will now conduct a credible pool.
So let's talk about this. The 2023 election so far has not lived to what we call credibility. If the Independent National Electoral Commission is to conduct a credible election, they know exactly what to do. We saw a lot of compromise within the security uh, uh, architectures in those various states. We saw a you know, cry here and there of how uh, people are wearing the uniform of the Nigerian police force, you know, to perpetuate evil. We all remember how Dino Milaye called out even names of people that were planning to perpetuate this evil. But nothing was done in regards to that. Now, we could see what actually happened in Kogi State. You know, I, I talked in our last video where I talked about the intimidation of voters and also opposition. Opposition, candidates, and all of that. We saw how EFCC was at the Dino Pillow unit, you know, but we couldn't see any, anywhere where the EFCC was found at the governorship uh, candidate of APC polling unit, no, Labour Party or SDP, or even the, the government house where the governor have to cast his votes. I don't know, most times the way we act and do things in this country, it seems to look like it is selective. You, you do this to the opposition and you can't do that to your own political party or even um, at most even to some people who are even contesting with you. But you do that to those who you see as your key opponent. We define this as democracy is, uh, can we say that democracy is still in, in, in Nigeria or has been practiced in Nigeria? Anyway, I will leave this to you to have your deliberation at the comment section. Please do it to share this video. And don't forget, politicians don't care about you, but their personal interests. So before you jump up to defend them, just be loyal to yourself first. Thank you for watching. Now, flip it open, let's see. And let's see the carbon copies. Let, you see, open it, open it, see. You can see that there's, the, the result is, look at, who, who wrote those ink on it? How did, it? how did it get there? I don't know. Uh, why is INEC compromised? This is an election. We've not started an election. Blank. It's supposed to be blank. And to be see, blank. this election cannot hold. We cannot accept it. Uh, you people are the ones that are coming to rob us again. Uh, this suffering, this is not, are you people not, not feeling it? Uh, no, we can't take it. It's not possible. We won't take this. Please. This is unacceptable. It's not. I'll sign anything. Can I sign? This is criminality now at the highest level. Are you abroad? What I want you no, try to do is see, by God's grace, no matter how may be that there is no solution, we can call our SPO, SPO. now. Please call him. Call him, uh -huh. call him please. Of we don't have issue with you. You understand? Call the, uh, the SPO. You are agents, you understand. But we have to start with you people because you are the ones on the field. Yeah.